is nothing. Only warm, primordial black. Never. Never. Ever. An inordinate amount of time passes. It is utterly void of struggle. No ex-wives are contained within it. You got it, sweet brother. Nothing upon nothing upon I know you do, baby. I know. Coming right up, sir. Smooth passage. Do you really? You wouldn't like it if I told you what was back there. Why'd you think you had... Somewhere in the sore, bloated, man-meter realm. Like a fly to the ointment, your conscience sticks to it. The limbed and headed machine. A stench of liquor rises from your mouth. An a fiery streak penetrates your skull. Somehow, you know what it is. A caprice can make... window stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. What do you mean, assess the damage? How would you do that? What are you even trying to do? The morning light hurts your eyes. It's hazy, but you... You hear a jingle. Keys, it says, whirling in rags on the element. The whirling in rags is a... This fan has two chain pull switches. One ends in a tiny fan. You swoop up and catch the tie. Snap. It's released from what you have in your hand. The blades come squeaking to a halt. A terrible mistake. Turn the lights off immediately. You can practically feel the photons burning. Your eyes burn with photosensitivity. It's not good. The lights are off again. A mirror hangs above a bent and broken sink. Was this not the same Eno that f probably not? No. Hot water sprays from the faucet's base and steam covers the mirror. Suddenly, you realize you have no memory of the face that awaits you there, underneath the soft vapor. Really, all recollection of the person you are, the people in your life, and even the world you're in has drowned in a sea of blood as you slowly reach your abort. You clearly have not thought this through. You won't like what you see there, and you will never unbecome it. Behold.
you have no idea who this thing is, do you? Too late. You clearly have rigor mortis on your face. Oh wait, is that an expression? Are you trying to make an ex- Please stop. It's horrible. You're scared. Oh my God. You can't stop. It's like it's not- What does it even mean? What is the emotion you're trying to convey? There might have been, ten years ago. It's little more than a- Like the rest of you. It comes from a bad place, somewhere, and it's too late. Like an image on film. The ex- stands broken in its frame. Cold wind blows in. The shards face outward. Whatever broke this window came from the inside. A fine web of scarring covers the back of your right hand. More likely a projectile than a held object. It is too large for a bullet, yet too small for a... The single green shoe you found fits the hole almost as well as your foot. It would have... Congratulations. You smashed the window with your own shoe. Now, you mean someone else took your shoe off as this person also forced the drinks on you. A cool wind gushes in. Your toes curl up from the cold. A mirror hangs on the bathroom wall. In it, your face adorned with the expression.
some. She's right. Something wants to come out through your mouth, right? Sir, you've been here for three days. On official police business, no less. Okay. Couldn't say. In truth, so far, mostly drinking. You have no doubt about the drinking. But do you strike yourself as a tight-lipped drunk? She must have heard something. The words have already left your mouth. <laughs> what was that? That's not even how words are used. Come on, man. Pretty, please. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt your feelings. Something stirs in you as she's about to go. Call it an instinct, a need. The need to ask. She looks back at you, a light glinting off her eyes. Yes? There was the usual raucous, loud disco music. I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear people speaking from over here. Oh yes, various artists. Ostentatious orchestration prime among them. Oh, that. Yeah. Whoa. The oh, oh, we're huge where I come from. I was very young then, of course. Like, seven. Life gets hard, but we... I don't know about that. At around two o'clock, disco... A slow, sad song started playing. Like organ music on repeat. That went on for quite a while. Some of the time, you were yelling a lot. Yes, there was a church in there. A really small church. Like the smallest, saddest church in the whole world. That it doesn't matter anymore and that we're alone now. It was difficult to tell. Yes. It was it's impossible to say whether she's being sarcastic. Then you started screaming and trashed the place. No. It didn't sound like there was a fight. It sounded... A window was smashed. The tape player, probably. The song stopped. And furniture, too. A real destructathon. There was screaming. Then I think uh, you passed. There was. I think you screamed that you didn't want to be this type of animal. I went out afterwards. Everything was quiet by then. Around four or five. And that was it. It's 51. The current century? Centuries don't have numbers. They have names. Civilization has existed for 8,000 years, sir. You're right. There is nothing. You're in a hostel, sir. We are in Revachol. Revachol is the disgraced former capital of the world, divided into zones of control under foreign occupation. Half a century after a fa- You sure look like you're from Revachol. Revachol parties. Her accent suggests she is not from around here. She's from Aranier, and- There was the usual ruckus. Loud. I couldn't say. It's impossible to hear- Yeah? Glad to have been of assistance. Officer. The door is closed. There is no answer. You hear the shower being turned on somewhere inside. This door can only be opened with a key or from the inside. <laughs> the
The door is closed. Still no answer. Still nothing. Still nothing. are the same enigmatic white rectangles as on your blood. Hello, I'm Kim Kitsuragi, Lieutenant, Prison 57. You must be from the 41st. You realize he's waiting for your name.
Concentration makes you squint your eyes. Your name should be deep gold and orange, like a forest fire looming on the horizon, but mixed with the stench of liquor rising from your breath. Okay then. It looks like we had a little skidding error on Sunday. Saturday too, actually. Have you... What he means is, he has been trying to meet up with you for two days, but you have been otherwise occupied. If you don't mind, we should talk to him again. Ask him for a rundown of the area. Now that I'm here as well. I understand the scene is out back, right? It also wouldn't hurt to assure him the police are finally here. In full force, I mean. Have you mapped out the initial interviews? Good. But even if you haven't, we'll have time for that after we take a look at the coroner's case. Have you removed the dead body from the tree? So, the body is still in the... where it has been hanging for seven days straight. We should go there as soon as we are done talking to the owner. Talk to the manager. Then we go out back and take the body down. After you, officer. If you're about to embark on an investigation, shouldn't you have a badge? You mean you don't have a badge? Oh, if you didn't have your badge, then that would be very bad. You would need to report it on my shortwave. But since you do have it, we can go straight to the task at hand. Lieutenant Kitsuragi is now in your party. You can talk to him whenever by interacting with him. The man with the unimpressive beard notices you approaching. He drops the ledger he was holding and- Mr. Gart, right? You yes. I am Kim Kitsuragi from Precinct 57. This is an inter-district investigation. So joining me from Precinct 41? What? I have no idea what that means. Never mind. Gloaming? What is this? Is this what you get when you call the police now? This guy- Sir, I understand your concern. But we are here to do a job. And yes, of course. I know it took us a while to arrive at the scene, but it also took you a while to call us. No, I only just got here. It was probably Sylvie who called you. She usually works the... Do you have her number? As a matter of fact, I do. This sounds like something you can...
This man means the heavy cavalry of the innocents Franco Negro, sweeping over the plains and nations of the enemies of mankind, fifth century style. I don't know who killed him. I'm not the police. That's your job. This is it. He said they hoisted him up on a tree. Who is this they, if he doesn't know? What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him. Uh, oh, people are saying it was the Union dock workers, that it was a lynching. The locals, the customers, the people who eat here, a lot of dock workers eat here. Sylvie told me everyone knows the dock. Did the debarders themselves tell her this, or is it a rumor? I don't really know. You'll have to ask her. I would suppose it's because they have nothing better to do. You mean the strike? Yes, the strike. The man they hanged was a security guard for the harbor company, I hear. A mercenary. The unionists probably thought they'd send a message. What are you, crazy? Of course I didn't kill him! The lieutenant turns the page in the little notebook he's been scribbling in. Haven't you asked me that already? What is it with you and this woman? Okay, you got me. Thank you. I asked an employee out. She didn't want to come, but felt obliged to. It was a bad... Good for you. Uh, was there something else? I'd like to get back. Let's go. Not so fast. You owe me 130 real. One moment you're running like the wind, then you've suddenly turned around and are giving him the finger. Furiously, with both hands. Why? That's true. Yes. And it's worrying. But let's not fixate on it. Look- Watch out! Everything goes dark. Back so soon. Those are mysteries of the spinal cord. The spinal cord had you awake. I was wrong to let you go. I should have kept you here. That is too bad. We all need a little love. Are you okay? No. You have sustained a trauma to your lower neck. In addition, you... The chair took the brunt of it. Don't worry. Are you sure, ma'am? Yes, yes. Check on him. Sir, I didn't... I didn't mean for this to happen. I'm sorry. This has always been a cop-friendly place. The drinks are on the house, okay? There were a lot of drinks on the tab. I still have to... He's shaken. Barter now, and he'll cave in. Okay, fine. I'll take it off your bill. Sleep in a post-apocalyptic hellhole if you want to. Just know I won't give you another room. Not entirely cool. You still owe me 60 real for three nights' stay. If you don't have it by tonight, I can't let you back up the... And for God's sake, watch out for yourself. By the way, where is home? The address is coming up blank, and this place sure isn't it. But you've been at this hostel cafeteria for only three nights. Where were you before? You had to be somewhere. You don't really know, do you? A vague, blackened image doesn't sound like somewhere you can stay if you run out of money. You can try. Run some addresses in your head when you get the time. Maybe a street or an apartment will appear. Yes? Oh. 
What do you want to know? No, it's not a particularly mysterious case. The deceased is a security guard for a corporation involved in a labor dispute. It doesn't take a DeLorean polymath to put the pieces together. I just don't see the case getting more mysterious than that. Then you are in luck, because we are in the midst of a major strike by the Dock Workers Union. Maybe more than that. The union Is this a strike then? Or the first... I expect the case itself to be less challenging than navigating these community matters. This district isn't used to the RCM's presence. Strike, coup, revolution... You feel something rising through you. A familiar feeling. An opinion taken form.
I can tell you this. Troubles. You heard what I said. Draw your own conclusions. That's all I... The lieutenant gives you a little nod, then makes a note in his blue notebook. Yeah, what about it? You know, people die. If someone has decided to die on top of a tree, then how is it me? I can tell you this. You heard... The lieutenant gives you a little nod, then makes a note in... Indeed. Help yourself to some... Wait. Thank God, no. The worker stares at you, his eyes dry from s- I don't know what you're talking about, kind sir. But when I'm out, then I'm really out. No malt grains or whatever, no poetry stuff. Thank God, no. The worker stares at you. I don't know what you're talk- Thank God, no. The worker. I don't know what you're talking about, kind sir. The dock worker doesn't answer. His head is... Wait, who's Sweetie? You're a handsome man, officer, with your mustache and your chiseled jaw and... That. But dear, you're not for me. I'm too old. You must forgive me. I'm getting so scatterbrained. I I'm Lena. My husband Morel and I are staying with our friend Gary just down the street, but I come here for tea when they're away. This Lena is wacky enough for the Motley crew. Hire her on the spot. Oh, oh, I'm perfectly all right. I'm more worried about you. What was that? Don't beat yourself up over it too much, dear. People do strange things when the old fight or flight kicks in. I'm just glad you weren't injured. Yes, dear. Uh, I'm a paraplegic. A paraplegic is someone with limited or no ability to use the lower half of their body. Paraplegia is caused by spinal cord injuries, like falling from a great height. Or a grenade explosion. That's quite all right. I'm used to people asking questions. I know they're thinking about it anyway. Yes, dear. A paraplegic is so... No, dear. I'm not quite that old. Although I was injured in the line of duty. Nothing so glamorous, dear. Though when I was young, I dreamt of planting the Revisholian flag on some... I was a training and development manager at a rapidly expanding mill. You'd think it would be a safe job, but I had to be everywhere. I was lucky. This was almost 20 years ago, and I was compensated exceptionally well.
know about our city of Splendor. How would I even begin to tell you? I haven't seen very many other cities personally, but everyone says... Speaking of... People of this archipelago tried to build something new, something different. The rest of the world didn't like it, so they came and ended it. This was 42 years ago. It has something to do with everything. I really don't know how to explain it better. A defeat, I'm afraid. Of course, sweetie. I, I really don't know how to explain you were doing quite well up until the end there. It does look like you're having- A sigh. The lieutenant buries his nose in his notebook. But maybe a fresh set of eyes is what the world needs. And someone more educated in- No. I'm not an encyclopedia. I want- Of course. Then I don't know. Someone rich maybe? That's a good point. This doesn't look like rich central. Of course, dear. Good luck with your case. The RCM in Martinez. What can I help you with? We don't see a lot of police around here, that's all. Of course. What can I help you with? Excuse me? Oh, well, I didn't write it there. I'm just sitting here. I don't know anything about that either. Pig is a widely used term for members of the police. It's not loving. No need to worry. We are not saying you did. Okay. Well, I didn't. Me? I am just a gardener. I am working. I have a greenhouse in the yard there. I, well, as you probably know, there's a corpse hanging from a tree. Don't worry, miss. We are here to clean it up. You can get... Mm -hmm. Thank you. Salts? Ammonium salts? Perhaps useful for later. Since the street signs messed up? Okay. What do you need? 
It's there. In the yard, right through the hole in the fence. Even all the way over here, there's a drop of death in the spring air. There's the pier, the Cape Side apartment buildings, some more tenements, not a lot really. The harbor gates, some kind of commotion, I think. I don't follow the local politics. Some shops and a bridge. The canal bridge leads to the coast, but it's broken, I think. Just coast. There's a little fishing village there and a fish market, but that got closed down ages ago. It's just water. No, what do you mean? We're in Martinez, sir. This intersection is called Roundabout North, I think. What do you mean? Yes, sir. District of Martinez. This intersection is called... He knows where we are. He just wants directions. No problem. Of course. I won't hold you back. If there's a corpse, then you're going to need those gloves for the autopsy. Sure, keep them. I have another pair. This trash container is locked. The sliding lid has a padlock that says, whirling in rags. This trash container is locked. several footprints in the mud, left by work boots. Anywhere from six to twelve pairs have walked here. Maybe more than twelve. No, eight pairs of boots have shuffled back and forth in the mud. One, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 46. Two, standard work boot, steel reinforced toes, number 44. Three, hobnailed work boot. Four, standard work boot. Number 45 or 46. Five, another standard work boot. Steel reinforced toes. Six, an aberration. Light as air. Even pace. Same make of boot, but number 41. Seven, the glowing outline of a standard work boot. Number 46, but the imprints are twice as deep as the others. The weight exceeds 208, and yet another standard work boot. Number 44, there's an aberration in the pattern of the sole. 
How many? I was pretty off then. I can't hit 20. I never got the hang of it. Hyperopia. Do you see anything out of the ordinary? Two hundred? Could it be the combined weight of two people, one carrying the other who's tied up? Let's say a heavily built worker carrying a similarly built, soon to be dead man. He might be right. 200 kilograms of living weight is unlikely. Possibly, yes. But why? Yes, they could have used the makeshift stretcher or just march him up to the gallows. Even easier to carry on a stretcher or between two men. Anyway, it's for future consideration. What else can you see? A woman or a kid? Okay, how do you know? He knows it's hard to discern sex from a person's gait. Understood. Anything else? Interesting. Let's name it the old soul. Someone operating a workbench with a pedal? Like a joiner at the harbor. Or maybe a drummer? A drummer only uses the right foot for the kick drum. You're right, it's stupid. Perhaps it could be a driver. A driver would wear out the right shoe before the left. The accelerator is on the right. We should keep our eyes open around the traffic jam. See whether anyone strikes out as a potential suspect. Seems prudent, no? You're right. Let's keep a low profile. A week, maybe? Seven days? It is not impossible. I pulled last week's forecast for coastal Havashon. Set Correct again. Sub-zero temperatures would preserve the tracks in a good state. What do I think? A mob of people brought something heavy to the tree. One of them was carrying the Vic. Then, after hoisting him up, they stood in a semicircle facing his direction. Indeed. They all stood in a row here and... Yes, everything fits so well. Carried him over. Hoisted... The lieutenant's eyes narrow. Either way, what else? 